Hello Galactic Family. Darling, you're always giving the other all the best. You are considerate, kind, loving, helpful, encouraging and always have a word of affection and empowerment. Everyone knows they can count on you. Now, a simple question have you given all this to yourself? Are you, at least, considerate of yourself, your feelings in particular? Otherwise maybe that's why some things do not work out in your life, especially in love affairs. To give everything to oneself and do oneself nothing, not even a little attention is an immense counterflow. It is very painful for you to give yourself completely to others without the least of yourself, because in many moments you do this waiting for an immediate return, and when you do not receive it, you become frustrated. Understand, we are not criticizing you. We just want you to give it a little more. May you recognize that the source of full bliss springs from yourself, and that you are the only one capable of supplying it. Waiting for the other to meet their needs is similar to being in the middle of the desert with another person, both lost and with a single glass of water. You have this glass. Both are very thirsty. You give the whole glass with water to the other and not a sip to itself and expects that, in giving to the other, thirst will pass in you. Honey, think a little more about yourself. This is not selfishness, but knowing that you are as important and worthy of blessings as any other, anywhere in the universe. You are neither more nor less than any other. You are. When you give yourself the least assistance, you connect with your infinite source of blessings, and you always draw more blessings to yourself. Most of you are looking for a perfect relationship, but let me tell you true and genuine love will only come to you when you give at least a little more love to yourself. Always remember the other can never come to fill your needs, but to add to your entire fullness. No. You are a wonderful being and bearer of an infinity power that creates universes. Yes, you are a creator of universes. Even if your mind tries to convince you otherwise, you are. Then, knowing this, take steps to create in yourself the altar of self-love, capable of moving you from the saddest disappointments to the most sublime state of fullness, where you will be happy and full in your own presence. That's where the twin ties are tied again. Twin souls only meet when they have transcended any kind of affective exploration. There is no room for them but pure and genuine love. So it's time for you to take better care of yourself. I will use here a phrase that my dear plumber, Gabriel, likes to use take care of your garden, and the colored butterflies will appear. Smile start balancing things. Take some of the water in the glass and only then. No one will be thirsty. Start balancing this and your life will also come into balance. Think about it. You are very loved. Gabriel is